Hey guys, it's Monique with Teaching Animals and I wanted to talk to you just a little bit today about some of the training tools that I send home with clients for cooperative veterinary care training, also that I use with my own pets. First leaving syringes with training needles and butterflies that have been converted into a training needle. We're gonna use these when we're teaching things like vaccinations, IM injections, or blood collection specifically. So let me just uh, give you a little close up look here so you can see what this equipment is all about and what it can do. We're gonna move your camera down so you guys get a nice little close up here of what this stuff is all about. Perfect. So. When we work with training animals, one of the most common things that people will start with when they're doing injection training is a capped needle. And the nice thing about a capped needle is that it can't do any harm, so it's not gonna cause any pain, but it's also not really gonna simulate the needle sensation. So if I have a capped needle and I apply a little bit of pressure, we get this big surface area that gets triggered by that pressure. It's a relatively blunt stimulus. The difficulty with that is that if I do take the cap off the needle and you can see just how small and sharp that is, it's not a necessarily a very, accurate representation for the animal of what that stimulus is gonna feel like. And we need to have a whole bunch of approximations that we can do between nothing and an actual injection. And the approximations between here with a capped needle or a finger or another prop and here where we have an actual sharp needle, it's a really large jump. And many animals I was finding would adversely react when we actually did an injection with a real needle. To help solve that problem, I wanted to split that stimulus down into smaller approximations. And one of the tools that I use for that is training needles. And these particular ones are dispensing needles. These can be purchased almost anywhere online. You can also purchase blunt tipped treatment cannulas is another thing that these are called. And the way that these work is they just replace on any syringe the needle that comes with the syringe. And I'll show you a little close up of this. What this is, is this is a needle that has a blunt tip. So it is not beveled and it's not gonna be able to pierce the skin when we are using it to work with an animal. I'll show you with my hand. You can see how much smaller surface area of my skin is displaced by this. That means it's a sharper stimulus when we apply it. And it's gonna more closely replicate the feeling that an animal might receive from an actual needle when we compare it to something like a capped needle where it's a pretty blunt stimulus that doesn't really replicate a um, injection very well. When I am using these, I can also use larger gauge ones where the size of the needle is wider and that's gonna be a more blunt stimulus, okay? Or I can use fine gauge, this is 22. I can go all the way down to a 25. The smaller the tip size, the more intense the stimulation. Just like a high heeled shoe, when we step on something it'll sink right in compared to a flat shoe. Anytime we have a smaller surface area, that is gonna be a more intense amount of uh, stimulation that is going to be sensed by the uh, animal compared to a wider surface area stimulus like a fingertip okay all of that is lovely but sometimes when we're taking particularly a blood sample it's really helpful to use what's called a butterfly needle and this is a butterfly and the way that these work is that once I insert this into the pet if they move slightly, because this tubing is flexible, I can usually follow that movement and I can receive, I can uh, sort of persevere and salvage my blood collection, even if the animal moves slightly. But if we have animals that are really specific, which so many of our cooperative vet care training animals are, they're gonna notice that this and this are not the same thing. And they need our help having uh, really detailed training equipment shown to them and for us to be able to simulate as closely as possible what it is that they're gonna encounter and what the variety of items that they may encounter for injection or blood collection would be. So with these butterflies, when I take this cap off, you're gonna see this is also a sharp needle just like the one on the syringe was, but I can train, I can uh, convert this into a, a training needle myself 
and you can see here's one that I've already converted. You can see that it's shorter and that it is more blunt. And if I test this on my hand, you can see that it displaces a fairly small surface area. It's a pretty uh, intense stimulus. This particular one is 23 gauge. And remember I said with the smaller the needle, the more uh, pokey it will feel, the more intense the stimulus. This one is the second most intense one that we use for training purposes. If I'm gonna make a uh, butterfly for the purposes of training, I do this for clients all the time. I'm gonna take a regular butterfly, I'm gonna take the cap off, I'm gonna take a regular pair of nail clippers. I'm gonna turn the camera just a little bit so you can see my Sharps container. There we go. So I'm gonna take a regular butterfly, I'm gonna take a regular pair of nail clippers, I'm gonna insert the tip of the butterfly into the Sharps container through my nail clippers. So it's gonna be like this, but I'm gonna do that inside the Sharps container. Try and turn this so you can see it. Then I'm gonna give it a little clip. And then what happens is the sharp part safely is deposited into the sharps container and I'm left with a relatively blunt tip on the butterfly that I have cut down. When I apply this to my skin, it's still a tiny bit sharp and there's a little barb on one side because of how the nail clippers crush the tip of this. To solve that, I just use a regular emery file and give it a little bit of love here. And then what I have is a nice blunt tip that also doesn't have a burr in it anymore. And I always test these on my hand or on a little bit of skin so that I know that they are harmless and I can push relatively hard and it's not gonna make any rent or hole in the skin. And so I can feel confident that that's gonna be a safe training tool to send home with an owner and a team. So thanks so much for watching this little tutorial. I hope that you find these training tools helpful for you with you go through your process, your journey of training for injections and for blood collection.